Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yetinde aka YBA and in today's video we're going to be talking about meeting the in-laws for the first time. Yes, such a hot topic. Let's get right into it. All right, thank you so much for coming back to watch me if you're an OG and if you're new here, hi. Today's topic, meeting the in-laws, is actually about, it's from a comment I got. This is going to be the first in-law video. Apparently, a lot of people want to talk about in-laws. In-laws are tricky, yes. In-laws are not easy to navigate. Even those of us who ended up with in-laws that we like and you know we have good, good relationships with, it is still tricky. And so I'm going to do like a three parts, honestly three parts, because we need to break it down. And three people actually asked me to break it down and they all came from different perspectives. So we're going to break down the in-law thing into three parts and we're going to talk about it in detail. Let me just say that meeting the in-laws is usually more nerve-wracking for women more than it is for men and i'm sure we all know why i mean it's a man's world the patriarchy and many many other things like that women are usually subjected to i don't know unfair standards more than the men are again uh, in the family system especially the traditional family system here in africa nigeria and in a lot of tribes the woman is not i mean the woman is seen as the one coming over to join this family. Honestly, most families, most men don't feel like they're a part of their wife's family. We're like, oh, I married from there. But most women, in fact, I know women who not just change their names, they also start saying they're from their husband's place. That's so just for another day. I do not understand it. In fact, your children are seen as the men's families properties i don't know if you understand i don't know if you caught that debate on twitter like I, some months ago before they banned tier twitter you know <laughs> about where some nigerian men were saying that their wife was not a member of their family but their kids are that's how bad it is for women in this part of the world very few men feel like that most of the time they just feel mm, once i go there and i'm you know i have a good job I can provide. There's like a list of things. I can, I've ticked the provider box. I've ticked like, you know, I, I can support myself and her. I've ticked just a few things. I mean, you know, they should be happy to have me. The only time you see men feeling jittery, and I say this, you know, with my whole chest, is when the woman is from a family that is more affluent than theirs. Because you know, the whole provider right thing now, they know they can't give the woman all the things, the luxury she's used to from her side of the family. So, you know, that's when they feel somehow and they are feeling, I don't even want to call it humble, more like intimidated. And so, yeah, that's, that's what happens. But, you know, I'm not here to talk about, you know, the imbalance and the iniquity of this whole gender thing. I do love to talk about it, trust me, but that's, that's not what we're here to talk about today, of focusing on meeting the in-laws. Let's go to number one. Now, the number one thing you need to know, man or woman, when you're meeting your in-laws for the first time is calm down. See, let me tell you, just calm down. You're worried. Ah, would they like me? Do I look like what they had in mind? Am I enough? You know, would they like my personality? Would they like how I'm dressed? Relax. Honestly, I know that there are bad in-laws out there. That's the truth. There's no way to shape it. There's nothing like any, they're not really bad. There are bad in-laws out there. Very bad. Yes. And there are people that look, they are very critical. But what I have learned in my almost 10 years of marriage is that, see, people that will like you, will like you. People that will not like you, they will not like you. If you like, bend over backwards, turn upside down, do everything, get a checklist, Tick everything like this. They won't like you if they don't want to. So technically, what am I trying to say? Calm down. You almost, it's almost like you have like no control over like if they will like you or not. So calm down, like take a deep breath and just go. Don't worry about it, okay? At least not too much. My number two tip for meeting the in-laws is prepare in advance so i know my number one says you should calm down and you should calm down because in calmness you'll be able to actually 
think of all the things you should prepare. Ask questions, you know, oh, what does mommy like? What does daddy like? Uh, what does your sister like? I like to think that in the process of you guys being in a relationship, you guys have talked about your family members one, like more than one once like many times you've heard him interact with his mother and father or sister or brother on the phone you've heard her talk to her family talk about her family you have like a general idea of what you think they're like but you see for this preparing in advance you have to ask specific questions because you know you don't want to get there and you don't have anything to talk about with them what kind of person are they who oh, does your mom love compliments what do they like what are their pet peeves you know i feel like you should also prepare like ready answers um if you have like maybe a family member you're estranged from and they ask you about that person you should have a ready answer don't just start saying eh, 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 ah, 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 ah. Prepare in advance. Preparing in advance covers, in fact, almost all of the next few points I'm going to see. The third point I want to talk about is dress appropriately. And dressing appropriately, honestly, is subjective. There are families that you need to, that when you want to meet them, they expect you to look a certain way. Now, honestly, I'm not entirely sure how, about how I feel about how someone else wants you to look. I would want to show up the way I like to look. However, you understand that there is appropriate dressing for certain settings. You can't wear what you would wear to a club to meet your in-laws. I mean, come on. You can't be going to your in-laws, especially like us Africans here, we take dressing really, really, really serious. You can't be going to meet your in-laws, for instance, and that's when you wear all your drew jeans as the, it has like, you know, all the holes and tartar like stuff in them. You can't do that here. I mean, maybe it's acceptable in other climes, but a lot of African parents, if you showed up wearing things that has holes in them and they can see all your body parts, what are you, a man or a woman? I mean, that's just a no, no. Make sure your dressing reflects who you are. If you're like me and you like your makeup, and you know you love to do your nails nothing stops you from doing them but maybe don't go there with your nails looking like claws like you're about to pluck out their eyes if you're me you're like me who you gesticulate with your hands a lot and then you're talking and you're doing like this and you know your nail is like this long and you're clawing at their faces it's just uncomfortable and just it's not nice just make it nice and dressy. I would use the word dressy. Be a little bit dressy with how you look. Don't just go there with like plenty and slippers. No, it's a special occasion. You're meeting the people who have, who raised your partner. Like it or not, positively or negatively, they're going to be a member of your family. They're going to have impact on the family you're about to start building. That's the thing about in-laws. Might be negative, might be positive, you might like it, you might not like it, but prepare, brace for impact, yes. So it's, a, it's an auspicious event. Ooh, I like that word, you know. It's something that is very important. So don't just go there. Like, you're just going to see Shalewa next door. No, don't behave as if you just want to go and see Kenneth and the next street, no. Dress properly. Those of you who like to use perfume that can choke somebody, no now, that's not the time. Don't empty like three cans of per perfumes or three bottles on top of your head. Why? Do you want them to die? No, 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 don't do that. You know, something pleasant, something that is, you know, everybody would enjoy. You can be very stylish. Nobody, no, I'm not talking about your style. Style is personal. If you're someone who likes, you know, you're, you, you're like a power dresser, in fact, bring your A game, okay? Just don't overwhelm them. My, my guys from the East, or my ladies from the East, a lot of you like to go home over Christmas. We all know that. And usually a lot of meetings happen over Christmas. So let's say you're meeting your partner's family in the East, in the village. That's not the time for you to wear suits, uh, like a three-piece suit. And uh, what's it called now? Some brogues. And just, you know, no. That's just completely inappropriate because you're going to stand out like a sore thumb. If you're meeting them like in a wedding setting, wear the traditional attire. Yes, style it to your taste, but dress appropriately. If they're like, oh, they invited you guys, said, oh, we're going to meet at a nice restaurant. It's fine dining. If you don't know how to use fork and knife, learn it. YouTube is your friend. Should you say I'm on YouTube? learn how to use that fork and knife don't go there 
then you start you know you start looking you know you use the the, the soup spoon you use it for no don't do that mm -mm. look respectable don't show up at fine dining wearing uh, kicks and, and, and jeans no no don't do that my next tip will be to be confident and to be yourself you know how i said you know like you should calm down don't try not to be nervous i'm not going to lie it's nerve wracking i mean you're about to meet these people who you want to get partnered up with with their like their son or their daughter and you guys are going to build this new life have like your own family it's a lot go there be confident when i say be confident i don't mean to be overconfident like don't go there and go and be jumping you know you know who you are and show your personality don't be afraid if you're someone that talks don't go there and be quiet no because then they think that you don't talk if you have your own interests discuss them especially when you are asked you know if they ask you don't just go like mm -hmm, no i'm just mm. show a bit of personality in fact not a bit i mean just show them who you are be confident how you present yourself whether in physical appearance or in your personality or how you're behaving and all of that so bring your a game be confident don't get there and just be looking you know don't get there then you sit like a mouse when we all know you're like me you play you know you laugh you talk and then you you get there and then you just put your two hands like this and you're like mm. no don't do that bring some personality be confident okay be yourself and i promise you the rest is just small stuff ah this one <clears throat> this gift bring something i'm an advocate of bringing a gift if, whether it's in-laws see it's, i think it's just like the nice thing to do you can't i don't think you should go and visit people i'm not talking about visit like like your next door but that you go there all the time like you're meeting people for the first time or you're invited over for dinner or you're just going for something monumental see courtesy demands bring a gift if your in-laws are the kinds of people who appreciate good liquor buy a nice bottle of gin buy a bottle of wine if you know they're like my mom and you know they love fruits buy a nice basket of fruits just take something you don't need to go over the top i'm not saying you should buy a designer bag for mommy designer slippers for daddy no that's not what i'm asking you to do i'm saying when you're going just come bearing something if they're cooking and they're hosting you guys for dinner i mean maybe bring the drinks or maybe bring like desserts like a cake if it's not that kind of party if it's like village for instance okay bring something if it's like an event bring souvenir you get like maybe you're meeting at a wedding and that's the first time bring like a souvenir buy like maybe 50 pieces of something that your ma prospective mother-in-law or father-in-law can share you know for their friends just buy something so depending on the setting where you're meeting the people you're meeting come bearing a gift i know that yeah just see i don't anywhere in the world come bearing a gift if you're they're hosting you or you're meeting them bring something okay <clears throat> eat or drink whatever you're offered so let's assume that you're meeting them in their home and you're not um, necessarily like you know it's not like a dinner party you just you're just going there to meet them i mean even if it's water mm -hmm. water they put water in front of you take a sip don't go on the day that you're fasting Yes, I know so, so, someone has done this before and, and my, my friend told me like, my brother brought home the wife, uh, well, the wife to be at the time and she was like, oh, I'm fasting, I don't want to eat anything. Why? Why did you go on today you're fasting? I mean, you are like, you, you are a guest and they prepared for you. They probably, you know, went out of their way to make something nice to put on the table, stocked up their fridge with different drinks because they don't, maybe they don't know what you, you would want to drink. Uh, they put in effort. Trust me, even the ones that don't like yourself, they will still put in some effort. When Alejo is coming, well, man, you know, you keep something of Alejo. <laughs> How do I say this? You keep something for the guest that is coming, something special. So now they come, they offer you, oh, I don't, I, I don't drink uh, tap water, I don't drink bottled water. Ugh. See, I have water here. Take a sip. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir, when they give you. 
put it down gently. That's cuts it. Just you must take something. Don't they give you? Oh, I don't do this. I don't do. What's that? You're you're telling them it's insulting. It's rude. Like, see, just don't do it. Don't do it. When you're offered something, collect it. You know, take it nicely. Take, be show appreciation. You know, say thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. For the men too. Okay. Not that you be like, oh, I don't this. I don't take cheap cheap cognac i don't take cheap yes we've had big man drink it have that local gin with your father-in-law or mother-in-law whoever offers it to you eat it you they are now your family abby don't you intend to marry into the family that's your new family they like cheap gin so guess what drink the cheap gin when they come to your house you give them the expensive cognac okay let me backtrack eat or drink what you are offered it doesn't also mean you should get there and your inner gluten will come out. No. For instance, the serve, the serve food, the but the serve yourself. Then yes, in the carry plates, load amala, load eba, load rice, load kilo de. What? Are they going to sell you? What is the problem? Don't do it. Don't let your inner. Eh, ah, I've not eaten since morning. The trip was a long one. Ah, gluttony. Ah, uh ah, -uh, control yourself. In fact, eh, just eat small. When you leave that place, tell your partner to pack. Go to Mr. Biggs or something. Wait, is Mr. Biggs still in operation? I don't know. But you get what I'm saying. Just go to an eatery. Then you can now go and kill yourself with food there. But it's not like when they bring, you know, they put the food on the dining table. You, you serve yourself. Ten heaps of rice. Bah, bah, bah. Or they bring, uh, what's it called, pounded yam. You quickly... Ah, oh, why? No, no. Nah. See, if that's how you eat normally, it's okay. They will get it to you later. But see, for the first time, <laughs> practice how to not just make everyone uncomfortable. The problem is not that you're eating all their food. They probably don't mind. It's food. The problem is how it looks. Do you understand me? When you don't eat it, it looks like you're a snob. When you're eating too much, it looks like, ah, is it food this one came to eat here? I thought she came to meet us to get to know us. See? Focus on what you went to do there. Hmm? Don't go and get there. Then you eat. Then you belch. Loud belch. Gah. Oh. Ew. Mm -mm. Don't do it. So eat or drink what you're offered. But please, let's add some class to it, okay? Take a sip of water. I'm going to take another sip of water. Just for effect. Thank you. On to the next one. My next tip is to give compliments there is nobody in the world that you will give a compliment to that will not like it if it's too much yes they might find you creepy but you don't do it in a nice classy way for instance if you go to their home look at their house there's something that, that is nice if, it's, if you don't like their couch it could be how they decorated it even if it's in the village oh uh, how do you say it now ah uh, daddy i love the, the, you know the, the breeze here is awesome just say something nice, okay? Oh, oh, you mean this, this fruit came from your garden? Oh, it's so delicious. Oh, this food is so nice. I enjoyed it. You know, be nice, be polite. It's the polite thing to do, honestly. It's not like giving compliments is not a special thing. Some people, I know, some people, they find it very difficult to give compliments. If like be fine, look like someone that was like a newborn, fresh, they will not give you compliments. They are inside their mind, you know, they are, they are, I don't know, they will tight that compliment to their chest. They can't just tell another person that that person looks nice or something about them is nice or, you know, I love your this, I love your that. Another thing when it comes to giving compliments and I have to say is that some, very few people, some people don't like it at all. And when I say at all, these are like people who are eccentric. I, I don't know. It's just it's something they don't like. So... Um, I like to think that everybody prepares their partner before you go, you go introduce them, right? So if your parent has any pet peeve, anything, you know, that they, they just don't like it, please, if this compliment that I said is part of the things they don't like, you need to tell your partner so that your partner will not listen to me and they will not go and start giving compliments. Do you get what I'm saying? And this is my final tip, man. I honestly don't know how else to say it. It's just behave yourself. You get what I'm saying? Like, behave yourself. 
Ah, uh, this is a Nigerian girl, like Yoruba girl in me that is about to come out. When you get there, behave yourself. Yes, we know that you love your husband, or we know that you love their daughter. Behave yourself. <laughs> behave yourself. Meeting the in-laws for the first time, that's not the place for you people to be sitting on top of each other, for you to be groping each other, for you to be kisses, sloppy kisses, for you to be, you know, doing over tight hugs. No, that's not the time where your hand cannot leave the back of his neck. You're stroking him like this, just stroking in, in, in front of his mother or his father. While they are talking to you, they're asking you, oh, so yesterday, so um, what does your father do? Then you're stroking him. Oh, yeah, my dad is a lawyer. Um, he's struggling. <laughs> he studied. Do you see how he looks? Don't say, oh. They said I should show personality. We're always all over each other, so I should be myself. I'm just going to go there. No. Hmm? They will know you. Don't worry. <laughs> it's, I mean, if that's you, if that's who you are, it's only a matter of time. But this is a first meeting. This is a first meeting. It also doesn't mean that you guys, you will sit on one side of the room and your partner will be on the other side of the room and there is like no connection, no nothing. No. I mean, you could probably hold hands. You know like this on your lap if you're seated together there are places in the world lots of places in the world where you need to genuflect when you see people who are older or people of a certain status or i don't know rank you can go and meet your in-laws and you don't know that you're supposed to prostrate when you get there because maybe in your own culture they don't prostrate or you don't know that you're supposed to uh, uh what's it called you're supposed to kneel down no it's not done i'm sorry yes they might actually tell you, you know, my, my, my mother-in-law, for instance, every time I kneel down, a lot of times she tries to carry me up. She'll be like, oh, no, 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 don't get, no, no, don't get to the ground. But the right thing to do is to kneel down. That's what is expected of you. That is how they greet in that culture. There's different greetings reserved for different people, different places. So you need to learn what the modus operandi is at your in-laws. And when you get there, you do the correct thing. People who want to love you will make, um, they will accommodate you. They will make room for you. There's already room because they, they, they are maybe wired to love you and they want to love you and they want to accept you. So even when you do some things wrong and you might do some things wrong, they are willing to accept everything and absorb it. However, you self plan. Don't go and plan to do something wrong. Plan for everything to go right. And if they don't, at least you've done your best. Final, final thing I have to say on meeting the in-laws. This is directed at the partner who is taking the partner home. I believe, it's like I said before, I believe that you want things to work. I don't think like when you're in love or when you find someone you want to spend the rest of your life with for whatever reason, I believe that you you want the people that you already love, that's your family, your mom, your dad, your siblings, whoever they are, you want them to love this person, right? You want them to accept them. Maybe they're not going to love them right away, but at least, you know, usually what happens is they extend the love they have for you, they extend it to your partner. And over time, if their relationship, you know, grows, they may actually genuinely really like or love each other. But that is over time. But for that first meeting, please help your partner. Mm -hmm. You, you know the advantage you have, you know your people, you also know your partner. If you have a partner that you know like to be forward, she likes to, or he likes to, to brag, or he likes to behave a certain way, he smokes a lot, for instance, and he is gonna, you know, want to have one or two smokes. And you have your parents who don't like smokers or would not let you smoke in their house or in their premises. So what do you do? You guys need to talk about it. You need to prepare them so that they can, I don't know, get their fix on before they come so that they don't come here now and then you know everything is becoming awkward so a lot of responsibility rests on you as a partner who is taking someone home to meet your people you i feel like in fact if that encounter fails a lot of it is your fault yes somebody was not prepared yeah that's what i believe is either your parents were not prepared for the kind of person you're bringing or your partner was not prepared for the kind of, uh, I don't know, people she's going to face or he. And what has happened is 
you have left someone unprepared and now there's going to be a problem. And you too, partner, after they have prepared you, you too, ask questions. If you have a partner that you know doesn't take things seriously, who might not even tell you anything, it's your job to ask them questions. I mean, you're the one who wants that kind of partner. So you have to deal with them. You have to ask questions. Make sure you have details. And finally, just go, okay? Who go like you, go like you. Who no go like you, no go like you. And that's how I'm ending my video today. So on this note, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell on my channel so that you get all the good stuff as soon as I'm posting it. If a video goes up every Friday on this channel and I'll be seeing you next week. So bye for now.